a major question as we head into holiday travel season, just how risky is it? I still think that people who are more vulnerable have to think twice about traveling in, in, in any way, shape or form. This is a moment when we have ongoing transmission of coronavirus and ongoing infections. So the safest thing is for people to stay close to home and to not travel very much. But if you need to travel, it's important to do so safely. Here are four tips to help keep travel safe. Have a well-fitting mask that you wear all the time. Plan ahead and try to avoid crowds and be in areas where you can stay more than six feet apart. Have hand sanitizer with you that has at least 60% alcohol. It's a good idea to carry your own food with you and your own water so you don't have to access restaurants or add to the contact that you make with others. In the United States, we've seen increases in cases after major holidays, Memorial Day, Independence Day, even Labor Day, where there are crowded beaches, where there are crowded parties going on, or other celebrations where people are very close together in large numbers. Some of the highest risk ways of travel are those that are most crowded. So really we want to do as much as we can to stay away from crowded situations. Traveling individually only with people that are in your household are clearly the safest ways to travel. It's recommended that when you return home, you quarantine for 14 days so that you don't transmit coronavirus to others. You have to do everything you can to stay safe.